Welcome. I'm humble to be here, man. Everything fine. Everything, Chris. All right. So you were a rapper. Yeah. Were you influenced by hip hop? And yes, if, 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 you, if you were, what have you got to say about the demise of DMX? You know, like hearing it is like, you know, because DMX is one of the people who really, you know, got us really loving the hardcore type of hip hop, mm -hmm. like with my era. And I think, you know, when I heard the whole story, you know, I was really sad, but like he said, why must we always come from a humble beginning? We have nothing, but when you get there, you destroy yourself with the things that, you know, are not really good for you and all that, being the drugs. And I wish this never happened, but if you ask me, I would say he's now a loser. He died as a hero. Mm. But, but for you as an artist, I know that mentioning, you know, um, pressure from record labels, from fans, camp, and all of that. Do you sometimes have same, as an artist, you know, do you sometimes go through the stress and the pressure? In the sense that the pressure makes you want to take exactly. those things. Yes, the, the, it pushes you because you have your own problems and everybody's expecting you to be nice. Mm. And sometimes it's, it's different. Like, nobody really wants to understand you. They just want to see you the way they want to see you. Mm. And what, like, what matters to you really don't matter to them. Everybody want to see you and just feel what they really perceive about you all the time. And sometimes we go through a lot to the extent that the smiling don't do all. Mm. You know what I mean? Artists will do music and people will really listen to the music but can't really hear the artist cry. You understand? Yeah. Sometimes in this music is where we put things that we go through on there. Mm. But people enjoy it, go with it but not really listening to the artist himself mm. you know and sometimes it, it gets to a point where you the artist you feel you're alone mm. you just feel like you're alone nobody really understands because the problems or the stuff you're going through if you want to put it out there you don't look like it mm. so it makes you look like either you're a hypocrite or either you're not really working hard to get to where you have to get to and a, a, a lot comes with it so when people get into these things i would say it's the pressure. Mm -hmm. Some just love it. Right. You know what I mean? And sometimes music can get you to meet your angel and it can get you to meet your Satan. Music? The music. That's one thing because it will expose you to a lot of people and mm -hmm. it depends on you what circle to join. Right. You know what I mean? So I'll say it all stands on you, the artist, where you're coming from, where you're going, what you're aiming at. Because when I came into this game, yeah, I met a lot of people who... I still have some offers that can turn my life around. Oh, you do? Yeah, I, I, it comes. But the conditions attached is what you don't like? They don't even tell you the condition, but you must be smart to know the conditions because it's too nice but, to be. It's too real to be too good. Really? And then on the level, like, you don't just pick that bait mm. thinking you're hustling or you're struggling, so you just have to take it. Because at the end of the day, when you take that, they come back and let you know what you also have to put in there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they put you on a level where you wouldn't like to come down again. Right. So then you just have to continue and do what. And that's you why you succumb to that's the whole thing. Know. And I always say Demands. one thing, one thing that I always say is in this industry, we have the gospel and they call it the world music or whatever. The but secular music. Yeah, but if you really if there's a truth in this game like if you really want to understand this game and you want to win the hearts of everybody in the world, I'll tell you the best place to go is to, is to go to the Satan. Mm. He owns the world, he rules the world. If you understand where I'm coming from, there's a way to do that. And if you really want to take your time and you know where you're going, it takes all the time. There's, there's a lot of conspiracy. There's a lot of you know, speculations out there that you know, people who are able to break into the industry easily or people who are making you know, waves yeah. have sold their soul to the devil. Is, is this the accession you're backing? Is this something, an opinion you also hold? Yeah, it's part of it. It's part of it. And on the other side, I'm not saying... Let me just be straight with it. I'm not saying... Mm -hmm. The world is taking everything. The mm. world owns everything. So if you want things in the world, you must do things in the world to get the worldly things. Right. You understand? Mm. And I'm not saying God can bless you for the whole world to see you, right. but if you understand where you're if coming from. If you want it quicker. If, if you want it quicker. Mm. God, you, 
let me not use God, Satan, or mm. you can have a Quaker doing the right thing. Right. You can have a Quaker doing the wrong thing. Mm. You, it can take you all the time whilst you're doing the right thing. It can also take you all the time whilst you're trying to cut it short. Right. Okay. So, um, Chrissy, mm. Chrissy, um, mm -hmm. Gray, yeah, Gray has made some, you know, interesting points, you know, um, first of all, just quickly, I just want to, you know, get your opinion on this very particular, you know, assertion about how people believe that to make it easily, you have to sell your soul to the devil. And remember how Illuminati became popular and even Sakode had to go through that whole discussion and having to do a song on it i think that i have been in management for quite 25 years of my life a long time a long time and um i agree with some of the things that he's mentioned mm -hmm. for example the parts where he says that musicians put their emotions and their pains in the songs that they compose. Mm -hmm. But then people listen to the songs and they don't hear the cries of the musicians. I mean, it's the musician's yeah. cry, it's not their cry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, <laughs> I can testify that it's, I remember with one Stella Dugan, mm -hmm. Stella C. Remember those times yes. when she did the song Jimmy Tata, mm -hmm. Jimmy Conk, and the, if, if you go to listen to that song, mm -hmm. at that moment that she did that song, it was one terrible moment in her life. In her life. And mm -hmm. then the song came. And people were crying in their houses and they were not even listening, looking at her at all. Mm -hmm. And she was carrying her cross day in, day out and all that kind. And she was going through a lot of misery at that time and everything. And I agree with it. But you see, the part of, there are a few comments that he also made, he made that you have to sell a soul because of society, because of that. I, I disagree with some of them. Because you see, we, we've always had musicians by this table. Mm -hmm. And when they come here, one of the things they tell us is that music is an inspiration. Mm -hmm. If it's an inspiration, then why do you have to sell yourself to somebody? No, but because you so, were inspired. So making the music, making that inspiration, or being inspired to make that music is one thing. Uh -huh. But perhaps promoting the song and getting whatever you deserve from that song yeah. is another. That is why. Every, so when we say musicians should work hard. What are we talking about? Working hard means that putting a lot of effort into marketing yourself, into creating yourself, into developing. If it's about composition, working hard mm -hmm. to bring yourself out, letting the world know what I am made of. If it's about performance, you get opportunity, you mount on stage, give us performance, give us who you are, tell us this is me, mm -hmm. and give us the performance so that people can patronize your product. So it has a lot of things to do with the individual mm -hmm. than maybe other external forces. Because I have never seen no juju man can help you to win a to win Grammy. If it works like that, if it works like that, then the people who are then let I dare anybody that is watching me outside there that if anybody thinks that Satan can help you to go and win Grammys, that person is a, I'm, I'm here to meet that person. It's a lie. It doesn't work like that. It is hard. Something is hard where you need to go through something. <laughs> can anybody tell me that you can? Yes, maybe you can go to juju to. Tear your fingers, maybe, but even that that one, like what we do here, people say, according to the touch of muscle and all that kind of mm. thing. Yo, I've seen some people do that and they are poor to the poor core. They don't have nothing. <laughs> of all and their music, music is not and, popular. And their music is not popular. If their music is not popular. So I'm saying that mm. the three key elements of marketing, producing, and selling, well, instead of depending yourself on this external force, that this thing, regardless of what you want, if you want to get plenty, you need to depend upon this external force to achieve mm -hmm. this. I will tell every musician that, look, depend upon yourself and your, your internal ability mm -hmm. to be able to deliver on set targets. Because it's possible. The same keyboard that is used to produce Whitney Houston, uh, I, uh, I Always Love You, mm -hmm. it's the same one Brother Sami came to sit there the last time and produced that song, that bomb of a song for us to hear. Okay. So, All right. <laughs> that bomb of a song. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Arnold, so um, I think there's been two divergent opinions. Yeah. And where do you stand on that? I stand with Christian Um yeah. See, eh, the issue about um, Juju artists selling their soul is all about conviction and what you believe in. Mm. And once you believe in it, you give prominence to that element that you believe in. But over the years, I've never believed in 
juju or external factors actually playing a pivotal role in your career it's all about hard work however i do not want to rubbish those who actually have belief or conviction in juju or a certain god factor or whatever mm -hmm. Uh, or, or deity that they believe in occultic yes i do not know. want to rubbish it yeah. but personally i do not have i do not believe it i believe it's all about hard work mm -hmm. and the effort that you put in, in ensuring that your career is on a certain level because mind you i mean juju if if juju works then then those people who actually go to juju should be up there but mm -hmm. clearly <laughs> you understand i think we know uh, i know of um a certain juju woman's son who is doing music but and you know about young exactly and you, know, you see but, one thing i have noticed mm -hmm. and if gay would, would, would admit almost every high profile artist to low profile artist that i've seen once they go out there to perform they pray mm -hmm. before they march the stage they actually pray to god no you, they pray but you don't know whom they are praying they to. pray but you don't know whom they are praying to i've seen i've seen <laughs> videos i like where he's coming from yeah. and you know we shouldn't just base this on yeah. what we see here yeah mm -hmm. as yeah yeah it's the smallest part of it okay. yeah mm -hmm. it's, it's okay okay now you're making i say, you're making, I say yeah. uh, christian the casa about baby mm -hmm. baby is the smallest part of yeah everything so when we boil everything down to juju juju mm -hmm. it shouldn't really be about spiritual spiritual yeah mm -hmm. This thing we are in, it's all about circles. Yeah. So it's an organization. It's an organization. What okay. every circle believes in. Right. It's not just about what you pray to. Right. Yeah. So that's why I'm it's saying about that the activities. Right. So his activity might be right, but on the other side is wrong. Okay. My activity will be right here. On the other side is wrong. Right. So it depends on what you want to see as. I want. Okay. Let me just use the umbrella. Illuminati because mm. Juju is Juju. so no I think before you come I think what actually defeated the point you were making was when you mentioned Satan Satan yeah you understand I then we would have to attribute everything or would have to find That's roots it. for that but, but then if you talk about an organization so sort of which might have different names I mean recently the Freemason people have come out to say listen we are not um, that devilish or demonic as you will see us to be this is an organization made up of you know well respected you know men in society so if I you're talking like he was being metaphorical i was being and trying to align yourself see, to something mm, and with right? what with what mm, you're saying mm. with what you're saying not really saying say like me using satan mm. the whole basis of what we are saying is about light and darkness right mm. is this two things mm -hmm. light darkness who represents light mm -hmm. who represents darkness so i'll just use those names right but we can't also sit here right mm -hmm. and try to be real because the more we try to be real here we will make good people out there look bad to people who really cherish them All right because mm -hmm. this industry if we really want to go straight to the point and really see what really it is mm -hmm. people that we have raised up and made them look like they are the, they are the, mm. the almighty no no but if you, you say they, they lose hope in them when you say they or they are the like are you saying in terms of what moral righteousness or in terms of what really if i say moral mm -hmm. i might be wrong if i say righteousness mm -hmm. i might be wrong what is righteousness in the first place right and the second place what is moral right depends on where you are standing and how you understand it mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is in this music i've been in this music for 17 years mm -hmm. I've had the offers of do this and this will be right for you. Mm -hmm. Can you carry this travel and we will give you this? Mm -hmm. Can you carry this travel? Let's be. You say carry you this like you know substance. Yeah, okay, travel with a substance. Travel with it mm -hmm. and you we will give you this. I've been there. Okay. Then you, you have, have those offers. Offers. Then you have people who will tell you, bro, if you really want to get there, this is what you have to do. And the good thing about it is. I would say no. It will take me about five years, and this person will be raining, and everybody will be loving this person. I will be down there after five years. This person comes down there and asks me, "Yo, man, you still here? How do you do it?" Okay. So if if I get the point you're making, you're trying to say that the people we are we see them to have made a lot from music. We see them since they've worked hard and they've made a lot. Mm -hmm. Their monies are not necessarily coming from music most of them are it, it, it's not about where the money is coming from mm -hmm. because nobody cares where the money okay is. so it's about 
the sort of platforms they were able to get because they did A, B, C, D? The platforms has been there already. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is it's an organization. It's a, it was mm -hmm. misconceived. Mm -hmm. we, you, you have to be... Thing. In Ghana, what I'm saying is not really certain because we haven't really gotten there. Okay. We haven't gotten that deep. We are just around here in the future year 19. Mm. But for where I'm projecting to, where they've gotten to is not what we sit here and do a spirit, a you say, a you say. Mm. It's a whole big deal. It's a whole big deal. And if we sit here and want to talk about it, someone out there won't even love to have their kids get, get into an ent entertainment. Okay. Right. So there's, there's some deep. That's the whole thing I'm saying. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about. Okay. First of all, before we talk about, is it Masem? Yeah, Masem. Um, for you, yeah. you've been in music, yes. I mean, lots of people have heard of yeah, Grey and, and all of that. That's right. But you wouldn't say, in terms of categorization, yeah. you know, like we like to say A list artist, B list artist, whatever, you know, um, category would have. Where at the moment would you place yourself? for yourself at the moment i'll place myself where i am and where i am is i'm trying to get back on my feet and get back to the top there and the difference between your a-list artist and myself is attention mm. they have attention i don't have it i'm working to get the attention right you understand and how how challenging has that been yeah it's 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 challenging and it's never been easy and will never be easy and there's always an, always an easy way but the easy way depends on how you want to do it. But you don't want to go for the easy way. No, I don't want to go for the easy way. I don't want to go for the... I'm that type that I get offers like, I want to feature you, like, artists that I wouldn't love to mention their name, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it because I also have where I'm coming from and how I want to put myself into the... Out there. So when you listen to Masem like this, mm -hmm. I featured an like, upcoming artist. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I saw something in him that might be what I wish the next 10, in the next 5 or 10 years. And if I'm not in the game and this guy is there and this guy is relevant, my name will still be relevant. Right. So with this mind is how I do stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's the hardest way though. Right. Right. Okay. So I think that without much I do, we'll go and take care of um, a listen or would see the video Masim and he has Warlord on this one and then we'll come back to talk about it you know proper there's a lot that yeah is said and so uh, maybe we'll have him another time to have a deeper conversation on that very one or that very conversation but this time we're talking about a song Masim and clearly um, I'm sure there'll be a lot for us to you know consume in there so Masim Yagre yeah, Free Chain Warlord enjoy <laughs> 